everybody welcome to my channel I hope you're doing well today if you go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be in the lineup for the next video and if you like videos like this uh, art paper crafting and cooking go ahead and hit the thumbs up and get yourself in the loop on the channel and at my blog cynthiamaynard.com and there are links to my store and so forth down in the description below all right today I'm working with the Elizabeth craft designs library pocket and I've cut out this piece the little file folder in the little mini pocket and it also comes with this uh, word lucky it comes with this if you want to make a window in this piece and then a little border piece as well but I just used these um, three today out of some double-sided Maggie Holmes paper just because I wanted to try it out here's the little file so cute and of course you can put lots of fun stuff in there and then here is the little um, pocket here so you can kind of see let me just pick up this guy and it's got like that built-in little pocket that's fun all right so it should be super easy to put together it has the score lines already done so I have this this is from the parasol line I believe and it, it's either the parasol or the market square I can't remember which one um, one of the two recent ones so um, of course we want to fold it up to make sure we find they're not the deepest score lines so you, there's more of a perforated line so just make sure that you're able to find that there and then our tabs so when it's said and done it's gonna go just like that so plenty of room to put fun things on the front like our little pocket so I am going to put a double-sided adhesive on these so it's a nice half inch looks like half inch tab just a great die classic that you can just keep forever you're never going to get tired of this uh, great for journaling obviously you do want to use double-sided paper with this um, particular die would look the nicest um, It'll be easier just to fold that down on top. Okay. Make sure that's in there. All right. So that is what that looks like. And when it's all folded up, it measures about three and a quarter by four and a quarter, just to give you an idea of that. And so now when we put this on, we want to make sure we don't put our glue in the spot where we you know, obviously want to be able to put our little pocket down here. So I think we're going to put glue there and then along the edges. So I'm going to get out my Cosmic Shimmer. Alright. Great way to use up scraps too when you do these little uh, little pieces to cut out and then that works just like that and then in terms of what to put in there you know you, it fits here's a tag I cut out from a Tim Holtz die obviously that can go in there you can put ephemera bits I have this thing here that unrolls as a um, sort of tag with pockets you can put that in there that looks nice like that um, little pieces that you make like this those fit in there so a great way to give happy mail or keep bookmarks and lots of tags and things and journaling places if you want to put them in you know folders and whatnot so it is, a, it is a great little size here. I'm gonna check out my little album I just made and this is available in the shop as of making this video anyway. Um, so you could glue that in like that and then have that like that. You could put tabs on the top of that if you wanted to be able to pull it out. So lots of things you can do with this die. I think it's a great little die. So I wanted to share that with you today in case you had that die grab that on out and make some fun stuff. Thanks so much for joining me guys. Have a great day.